Hey, this is Emilio. I'm from Digital Byte Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the steps on how to remove Windows 10 from your Mac. We're running Big Sur. The steps are fairly, fairly easy. We're gonna cover that today. Before we do that, please remember, click on that button right above there to subscribe and uh, clicking on that bell to be kept up to date with everything that's going on in my channel. All right, so here we are logged into our Mac. We've got Big Sur running, and you've obviously got Windows 10 running on your computer, and uh, you've installed it through Boot Camp potentially, and now we wanna look at the steps on how to remove it. So really with the whole Boot Camp installation, what that software has done is it's partitioned your hard drive. So you've got half of your partition uh, is Windows 10, and the other is your Mac OS Big Sur. So by removing Windows 10, you essentially remove the partition, removing those two partitions and making them one large partition again, so you can take advantage of that space on Big Sur. Now right up here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go search for Boot Camp uh, in the top right hand corner. We click on Spotlight and we type in Boot, and you see Boot Camp Assistant shows up right here and we can open it up. And this is the same assistant that you would have used when you built uh, your Windows 10 installation when you actually set it up initially. So we're essentially doing a reverse step where you go back into the application, you click on continue, and if everything is okay, what this should do is it should find that your Mac OS has Windows installed next to it side by side. So this is now telling me that restore disk to a single volume is available to me. I can restore it, remove the Windows uh, partition, all of the content, and then it'll be restored to one single volume. Now, if yours has not done this, if you have had an issue, if it has said no Windows detected, no partition detected, it's possible that your Windows partition is corrupted. It could be the disk on your Mac, it could be the partition uh, that's running Windows. We're not gonna cover how to fix that. There are other guides and videos on how to fix a, uh, remove a Windows partition that has gone faulty. Uh, we're assuming that this has all gone okay, and then this is visible right here. In my case, it'll say it's gonna return 58 gig back to my AP file system, uh, which is excellent. So I'm gonna say restore. Throw in my password and that disk is now being restored. And if you're seeing this screen, partition removed, Windows partition has been removed and your disk restored to a single volume, good for you, it is worked. You'll now have your single hard drive as opposed to two hard drives. Both partitions have now been merged back into one. If it did fail, as I said, you're gonna have to go and troubleshoot why that is. There's a lot of guides and other videos online uh, on how to fix that. So. Simple steps right there. If you did find this helpful, comment below, let me know your thoughts, like this video, subscribe as well by clicking on the subscription button and on the bell to be kept up to date with everything that's going on. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.